Reports have emerged out of China, guys, today. This is crazy news. It's, I mean, one of the probably one of the three biggest car companies in 2027 are going to be using solid state batteries. And this is not fake news from Toyota or Honda or Nissan with their wild solid state battery claims and no actual proof or evidence to back it up. This is BYD, the second biggest battery company in the world. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. This morning, my boys, Jack and Cal. Jack is 11, Cal is 8. They competed in a triathlon here in Newcastle. So I just thought I'd share that with you. They did really well. So well done, boys. Very proud of them. BOD is expecting to begin demonstration use of solid state batteries in 2027. However, Another site, Car News China, says BYD will start mass installation of solid-state batteries in 2027, according to the company's chief technical officer. On February the 15th at the Second China All Solid State Battery Innovation and Development Summit Forum, Sun Hao Yun, CTO of the Shenzhen BYD Lithium Battery Company Limited, revealed that BYD has rolled off 60 amp hour all solid state batteries from the pilot production line in 2024. So it sounds like it's this has already been happening last year. The company will start mass demonstration as well as installation of solid state batteries in 2027 and achieve large mass scale installation approximately around 2030. That's what they're saying. I mean, if you think about it, predictions from uh, people like me, wildly optimistic analysts like myself, could end up being correct partly for this reason, right? Batteries are continuing to improve. They're continuing to get cheaper. People want a cheaper electric car. They can buy a lithium-ion phosphate battery, which, you know, the batteries, like I said, are amazing now. I mean, BYD's new lithium-ion phosphate batteries, higher energy density, more range in one version. The other version has the ability to charge 600 kilowatt charging speeds. That's your, you know, your ordinary run-of-the-mill batteries in 2026. Solid-state batteries, 2030 on mass potentially even 2029. Some companies are saying, to, I mean, CATL is saying 2028. So you're going to have that choice as well. If you want a longer range vehicle, you get your solid state battery, more expensive vehicle, more luxurious vehicle, supercar, etc. Furthermore, BOD predicts that from the perspective of long-term development after scale-up, solid state batteries and liquid state ternary batteries can be close to the same price. They're saying that basically BOD is going to sell electric cars about the price that they sell them today with solid state batteries in 2030. Yeah, I mean, if you really think that internal combustion, I know Americans keep saying, I mean, there's predictions recently I shared, Row Motion, uh, and also the IEA, the International Energy Agency, they predict that 50% of all car sales in America will be electric, whereas JD Power says it's only going to be about 25%. But if you think about it, if you think about it, this technology, would you really, would the, would the average idiot really want to buy a car, you know, powered by diesel or, or petrol in 2030 if this is the alternative, a vehicle with potentially a thousand miles of range and, you know, five, 600 kilowatt charging speeds? They might. You'd have to be really dumb though to choose something else other than that, I think anyway. Earlier in September last year, Sun in, from BYD indicated that he would continue to strengthen the research and development of the next generation of batteries such as solid state batteries and new materials with sulfide solid state batteries being one of the battery types that BYD are working on. Sun believes that 2027 is the demonstration period for sulfide solid state batteries at BYD. And then by 2030, uh, they'll be mass manufactured and go into uh, many different mainstream BYD vehicles, potentially other brands as well, seeing as BYD supplies batteries to Tesla, to Mercedes-Benz, to numerous car manufacturers in the world. I'm assuming BYD wouldn't sell them with solid state batteries for at least a, probably a couple of years. It would give BYD an advantage, right? They could say, yeah, yeah, we'll give you them, but not yet. You'll have to wait your turn. I'm going to guess that's probably what they'll do. What do you think? Do you agree? Lan Yubo, BYD's chief scientist, chief automotive engineer, and dean of the Automotive Engineering Research Institute, he revealed similar sentiments. He said, three years will be difficult, Five years is more realistic. He's saying 2030 is mass production into lots of different cars. And obviously, it looks like some engineers within BYD are saying, we can do it in 2027. And then, you know, you've got the, the guys who are really seeing what's happening saying that no, 2030 is more likely. In addition, he shared that due to factors such as cost and material controllability, 
lithium ion phosphate batteries will not be eliminated in the next 15 to 20 years. Solid state batteries will be mainly used in higher end models empowering each other with lithium ion phosphate batteries and used in vehicles of different levels. To be honest, it does sound like different people within BYD are saying different things. So one part, one person saying they're going to be the similar price to NMC ternary batteries. Another one saying, uh, actually, lithium ion phosphate batteries will come down in price, so they'll still be much cheaper than solid state. And I can see that's probably more likely. The AI era has ushered in a more powerful boost to battery R&D, says Car News China, by allowing in-depth mining and analysis of large volumes of data, according to academics at the Chinese Academy of Sciences and chairman of the China All Solid State Battery Industry University. More specifically, predictions that R&D efficiency can be improved by one to two orders of magnitude, which seems incredible, would mean 70 to 80% reduction in R&D costs. And essentially, because of artificial intelligence, the cost to manufacture these batteries, we think today, right, batteries are unbelievably cheap. The price just keeps on coming down. We're seeing the numbers over the last few months, staggering staggering decline in the cost of batteries. I mean, we're talking about a 93% decline in the cost of batteries over the past 10 years. Just incredible. But basically, experts are saying this is just the tip of the iceberg. They're going to be much, much cheaper. So Tony Seaver's prediction, we would see batteries at about, I believe, $12 per kilowatt hour, meaning a fraction of the price of today is looking like it is extremely, extremely likely. Now, apparently there is also development between CATL and BYD, the two biggest batteries in the world, two biggest battery companies in the world. Both of those companies are located, of course, in China. They've been collaborating on this solid state battery development. They want to beat, you know, there are a few American solid state battery companies. Now, there's also one in Taiwan. There's a few around, there's a few in Japan. There's a few around the world. South Korea has a few as well. And China is like saying, if they were to beat us to solid state production, you know, mass solid state production, that's a big problem. We would lose our monopoly on the battery market. And thus, you can see CATL and BYD are racing to beat their rivals. If Let's be frank, let's be honest here. It, the most likely scenario is BYD and CATL will beat their rivals. They've done so in the past. I don't think it's... I think it's most likely that will happen again. They have just too many advantages in terms of the expertise, the battery expertise, the staff, the you know, the actual factories, the the actual ability to mass produce batteries. I think that's the most likely outcome that they will continue their battery dominance. But I could be wrong. There's some amazing battery uh, solid state battery companies in America, in South Korea. And Samsung is already using solid state batteries in EVs now, testing them now on the roads now. So it's very possible a company like Samsung, SDI, or also QuantumScape, or you know, some of these American companies, they could leapfrog China. It is possible. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments.